In this Caden Live tutorial, I will show you how to adjust the audio volume level as well as fade to different levels or mute part of the audio. I've assumed that you'll have a basic knowledge of editing in Caden Live. A link to my beginner's tutorial for those that don't is included in the description below. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I've loaded this video into Caden Live and I've also created a proxy so that I can edit it quite easy without having any lag um, when I use the timeline. Right, that's why this says P up in the top here. Okay, well the first thing you need to do is make sure that you've got your effects uh, box showing. Sometimes it's not always um, showing. So if you left click on the view button, just make, and it's not showing, just put a little tick in the box next to effects. The other thing you need to do is decide whether you want to um, modify the audio in the timeline which is also a video clip or if you want to separate them it doesn't matter for this purpose but I, I'll do it with um, a separate um, audio so I'm just going to right click on here and then left click split audio OK Now what you're going to be looking for in this effects uh, sort of panel here is audio correction. Just left click on the little arrow next to it and then hold down your left mouse button over volume keyframe and drag it over either the clip that has the audio in it or the audio. Just press home on your keyboard just to make sure you're at the beginning of this uh, clip or you can use this little button here. This will take you right back if, uh, for instance, you were part of the way through this video. Okay. Now all you need to do is just drag this up to increase the volume or down to decrease the volume and then play your video. Make sure you're happy with it. And that's all you need to do and that will maintain the volume from start to finish. If you want to reset everything for this little box here to the right of this eye just left click on the box and then left click reset effect OK now if you want to um, say play from this, this the setting that you're happy with whether it's the um, default setting or you've changed the setting first of all if you do change the setting just make sure that um, your um, you make a note of it. So let's say I want to maintain the audio level, I don't know, somewhere along here and then fade out and then carry on and then fade back in. You need to use the keyframes up here. So you can either move this slider here over or you can use the timeline. So let's say I wanted to start fading here what you'll need to do is make sure that you put a keyframe in at the beginning which will already be there it should say it's, it should have a red dot and then come along and then press the plus sign so you've got two keyframes Now drag your slider down to where you want to roughly, you know, your video will be different to mine, where you want the video to uh, either completely mute or, um, or reduce the volume and then press the plus sign again and adjust the volume. So I'm going to take this down to, I don't know, this level here. And as you can see, the volume carries along here, drops down, and now we need to decide where we're going to go back up to the original setting. So I'll just drag this slider along again, and again, I'll put a keyframe in, and that maintains this at its lowest level. 
and then we'll come over here and then I'll add another keyframe and then take it back up to its original level I think it was something like minus 16 I can't remember now at any point if you want to check something just either go back to your original key point so zero to zero so at this point here where we want it to increase I'll just type in or zero what you should find if you play it back like I said I haven't got the volume but you can see it up here in this box it starts at zero and then drops down and then increases again and that is all you have to do to uh, reduce your volume at a certain point and fade down to a level or up you can increase as well okay well I'm going to reset this again okay the only thing resetting doesn't actually remove the keyframe so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click to the end keyframe and remove it and go back to the next one remove it and just do this until you've removed all the keyframes now again make a note of the uh, volume level that you're starting with let's say you wanted to literally completely mute this um, audio track or if you wanted to just come straight down to um, another level starting at the beginning you've already got a keyframe showing so that will show you as a red arrow and we'll just drag this along to say this point here now if it doesn't show up if you lose this box just left click on the audio track or a video if it's joined together and then press the plus sign to add a keyframe then using your right cursor key this is your right hand arrow key just hit it once to come forward a frame and then left click on the plus sign to give yourself another keyframe and then reset your volume right down to zero or any other setting but let's go to zero and drag your marker along left click on the plus sign again to add another keyframe then using your right cursor key arrow key hit it once press plus and then put your volume back up to the level it was at at the beginning and now if you were to play this it will literally drop straight down to nothing then back up again I shan't go into rendering or anything this is a uh, done on the basis that you do know a little bit about um, editing in Caden Live and that's all we need to do thank you for watching cheers